gotta change up the background sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go. If you're like me, you love theme park rides. You know, the super dangerous ones like the teacup rides in it. Who am I kidding? They scare me. But in reality, there are many people who like the loop-de-loop -loop crazy ones that make you feel like you're gonna barf. But the following theme park rides would make even the most seasoned veterans of the craziest rides say, um, no thanks. Here are the 10 craziest theme park rides on Earth. Number 10 is the Schweep. You might think that the country where the Lord of the Rings was shot in is probably obsessed with all things old and orky, but New Zealand has a few futuristic tricks up its wizard-like sleeves. The bizarrely named Schweeb is technically an amusement ride, but some believe it's the future of travel. Just get into a translucent tube which is suspended from a monorail and pedal as fast as you can. As you pedal, the tube moves along the rail. From there, you can take in the New Zealand countryside through its 609.6 meter course. And if you're feeling crazy, you can even race your friends as there are two monorails side by side. If these things were around more, it'd be a pretty nifty way to travel from point A to point B. Now that I think about it, the Fellowship of the Ring could have gotten to Mount Doom a lot faster on the Schweeb. Ah, uh, no, no, there's height restrictions on those rides. Wait, then I wouldn't make it. Number nine is Tagata. Tagata is a strange ride which can be found in a number of countries. It's a large disc with seats around the edge. The seats are all turned inwards towards the center. People enjoying the ride are told to sit in their seats and hang on. Yeah, that's right, literally. There's no seat belts. Music starts playing and then the disc begins to move around and vibrate to the beat. It's a bit like someone trying to ride a bull, but it's a disc. A disc bull. I totally should have named that thing. Anyway, what's so messed up about the Tagata is that the operator's often tell everyone that the ride is over. People then get up and start walking to the exit only for the ride to start up again and start throwing people all over the place. Seriously, I'm not making this up. Broken bones are common, but hey, who says riding a disc bowl was easy? I'm gonna keep calling it that. Number eight is the life and death simulator. Have you ever wondered what it's like to die and be reborn? <laughs> I have. Well, wonder no more, cause now you can do just that without the messy death part. A bizarre contraption in China dubbed the Life and Death Simulator not only gives you a wild ride, but gets into your head and makes you question your very existence. I mean, if there's one thing we want out of a ride, it's existential angst, am I right? <laughs> anyway, people using this contraption are sat in a dim room together and asked who should die. The person with the worst explanation has to lie down in a coffin and then experiences a simulation of being cremated alive. That's fire in case they didn't know. Finally, they emerge through a rubber hole as if being reborn. The machine's creators hope that customers emerge contemplating serious questions, such as, you know, like, why did I just spend $68 on being fake killed? Profound stuff. Number seven is the sky cycle. Japan is renowned for technical innovation and for placing a bike on top of a roller coaster? The Sky Cycle is a ride at the Brazilian-themed Washusen Highland Park at Kershiki, Japan. It's a pedal-powered roller coaster and lets riders self-propel themselves 16 meters above ground. This is done by riding a precarious bicycle which is attached to two rails. Two people can ride at one time as they negotiate the rails and are offered a panoramic view of Seto Island and surrounding countryside. And you'd really have to love panoramic views as there are no guard railings, few security features, and both rail and bicycle are covered in a reassuring coat of rust. Hey, how are you enjoying it? Oh my god, we're probably gonna die now. If life has taught us anything, it's that nothing can go wrong with a machine that's covered in rust. <laughs> right? Number six is the human trebuchet. Not all of the rides on this list are still around, and for the human trebuchet and its customers, that's probably a good thing. A trebuchet is an ancient Chinese siege weapon, which uses a huge counterweight to pull a massive winding arm back as full as possible. When the arm is disconnected from the weight, it spins around and hurdles anything attached to it as far as 200 meters. And as you probably guessed by now, instead of throwing huge rocks, some brilliant guy at Middlemore Water Park in the UK decided it would be a great idea to throw 
people. While the trebuchet was supposed to throw people into a massive safety net, sometimes people would bounce out of the net and in one occasion someone died. The trebuchet has been retired ever since, understandably. The lesson here is that if something is designed to throw rocks, throw rocks, not people. Rocks. Number five is the train of pleasure. Theme park rides are normally kid and teenager centric. Those are the people who normally want to use them. So it makes sense that they would be designed with those people in mind. Well, that is except for the train of pleasure. This ride is definitely for adults only. In fact, the once proposed theme park where the ride would have been located was only for adults as well. Known as erotic land, people would have been encouraged to walk around the park naked. Not exactly a family day out. The train of pleasure itself was designed to be a naughty ghost train. <laughs> Complete with naked moving robots and other exhilarating things for those wanting to enjoy the lustful side of life. Fortunately, or unfortunately, I'm not sure which, the park has been cancelled. There's a lot of disappointed naked people out there walking around. Number four is the cooling tower. What do you do if you build a nuclear reactor only for the project to fall through? Well, if you're in Germany, you turn it into a theme park ride. The cooling tower at the Wonderland Kalkar theme park welcomes 600,000 visitors each year and is host to a climbing wall and a swing ride as well. The swing ride itself hurdles customers around at top speed while they watch the walls of the nuclear plant whiz by. The ride moves up and down as it revolves, taking riders to the very top of the cooling tower. An environmental love the fact that the nuclear station has been transformed into a place where families can have fun. Though it's all fun and games until someone grows a third eye. Just saying. Nah, I'm just kidding, there's no radiation, but you should probably bring a Geiger counter with you just in case. Number three is the Royal Flush Extreme. Theme park rides are often inspired by real life objects. That could be the space shuttle or a Ferrari or even an elevator plummeting to the ground. But one designer has taken such inspirations to new heights, or is that depths? The Royal Flush Extreme Ride at Las Vegas' Wet n Wild Park is a clever play on words. A Royal Flush is the highest hand possible in poker, and toilets can also be flushed, in case you didn't know. That's right, this ride is modeled on a toilet. If you visit the slide, you'll hurtle around the inside of a massive toilet bowl as water pours down from the sides. Eventually, you'll circle the hole like a turd that won't flush before finally falling through the hole to the pool below. I wonder if the designer was trying to make an observation about humanity being a pile of... Oops, sorry, I, I can't say that word. It's, I don't want to get demonetized. Number two is the Ark Encounter. When you think about a theme park ride, you probably imagine being thrown around at speed or being propelled along a steep roller coaster track. Maybe you think about the smell of cotton candy and the sound of people playing arcade machines. But the people of Ark Encounter have figured out that there's probably one thing that you've been missing from a theme park ride. Religion! That's right, the Ark Encounter brings religion and fun crashing inside of a gigantic wooden ark. The mark is oddled on descriptions of Noah's Ark. Visitors can enjoy the spine-tingling adventure of learning Bible history as they walk. Or how about rooms filled with science? Well, creation science, because when real science doesn't provide any answers, why not create your own? And number one is Alicia. You'll find Alicia in Guadalajara, Mexico. She's unlike any woman that you've ever met in your life, I assure you. She's a gigantic sculpture lying on the ground and you can walk around inside of her, but I think that gives her a special quality all of her own, you know? It's just lovely. Yeah, Alicia is bizarre to say the least. You walk inside of her head and you can move through her entire body. You'll see her mouth from the inside, her brain, her throat, her lungs, her intestines, and even the baby she's carrying in her womb. What? After her intestines, you get to see her femurs and can follow her veins and arteries alongside the insides of her legs. Finally, you'll exit from Alicia. But Matt, where from? Where are you gonna exit Alicia from, Matt? Huh? Don't worry, it's her foot. Seriously, it's it's her foot. I know you're probably thinking poopy hole, but no, foot. Seriously, y'all minds are in the gutter. It's an educational show here, folks. Shame on you. <laughs>